is video free. I'm going to remove the bonnet and we'll have a look inside and see what condition the bulkhead's in. Took the cover up, the bonnet off. Wow. I've got some serious cleaning up to do here. Front end too bad. Yeah, let's have a look over here. All that is still solid. all that's left of that. On a good note I've got a new one of them. Ooh, not too bad in there actually. That's pretty, pretty good in there. That's good. I will bring you back when I remove that air box and we'll have a look underneath that. Continue on removing this. I'll get back to you when I've removed it. I've got the air box out, and the air box is in really good condition. So, really happy with that. But that is what I've got all underneath, all on top of the bulkhead. Um, we really need new gaskets anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's how big the hole is. Looks like I've got some fabrication to do. Um, not, it's all solid up there. There's a little hole there, but I've got a lot. To work with here. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Yep. Yeah. I've got all that to do. Nice. Um All of that's gone. All the inner bits gone there. On the top of the tunnel. See? Hmm. This should be interesting. the engine that needs a good clean up I will be doing a will it run video on that but I want to make sure there's no valves stuck and stuff like that before I do that I don't want to risk this engine getting damaged because it's the original so I want to 
start taking up some more bits and bobs get some of this all cleaned off and see what I have to work with. start vacuuming some of these bits out but yeah that's how bad it is but on a good note at least the eater box is okay it's gonna be some great fun in this Her lips not too bad. Hmm. Gonna have to have a look at some pictures of what this is meant to look like. I don't know if you can buy these top sections that can weld in here or if it would involve changing the bulkhead. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning it up and then I'll bring you back for another look. I'm starting to vacuum it all out and see what I've got left. So it's looking at the minute. So looks like I've got some serious work to do here. I've got to start making a panel for this. I'm gonna to have to do it in a few sections. Um yeah, I'm gonna start I think down this end. I have to make a new lip and start getting all these shapes for the new metal and I think before I start ordering bits I'm going to need to get straight onto this this is bad so I'm going to finish vacuuming it up and I'll give you a final look. This is going to be a harder than the floor, I think. I've got, I've got to kick, make all of that. But I'm going to also look to see if I can actually get this panel. Probably not. I'll be back with you when I've finished. Yeah, but it's all right. I'll bring it back when I finish. So what do you think, guys? Are you interested in seeing me attempt, well, make an actual plate for this? I think that's what I'm going to start doing pretty straight away this is going to be interesting because I've pretty much got to make this whole thing I'm going to do it in a couple of sections some of the lips still there I've got to make a lip here all the way across and then start building all of this back up right back into the corner there now I know there's little indents here so I've got to recreate them uh, I'm guessing these indents will run down to, to the bottom here so I've got to get replicate all of that this is going to be very interesting so if you want to see me attempt this, like and subscribe.
because it's going to be happening very soon. Yeah. Should be some great content for you. Um, I'm going to start cleaning all this up. See what's left. Oh boy, this is a biggie. <laughs> Go on, you can all say I'm mad. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning up and I'll be back. All right, this is where I've got to. I've took the coil off. Wiper motor mechanism. This is what I've got to do. All under there isn't too bad. It's just mainly here. And this is what I'm left with. So I'm going to start fabricating the metal for this as soon as possible. If There's the wiper motor mechanism. If anyone has got one of these plates that it bolts to, let me know, because there's no point in me messing around repairing that. It's probably only a cheap part. Obviously, I'm keeping the motor. Coil pack off. The airbox is in great condition. No breaks or cracks in it. So that'll be going back on once it's been cleaned and refurbed. So I'm going to continue on doing this. I'll clean up the metal that I've got, a little bit of a wire brush, and I'll be back to show you the rest of it. So this is where I've got to. I've started to clean some of the metal, and there's some strong metal there. Up there isn't too bad. In there is only one little hole. Up in that corner over there, it's only a little hole. It's this that I gotta deal with. So I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna do some research online and see what one of these look like and start going from there. Obviously the gear, where the gearbox goes on the inside is a great big hole. So I need to repair that first before I can move on to this. Oh boy. Yep, this is gonna be uh, interesting, isn't it? Hardly enough, the battery tray is in good condition. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna start making a start on. While I uh, sort out ordering the floor pan and chassis rails so yep I mean that cleaned up nice but obviously this metal's got to come off for the new metal to go on I'll take this off Very interesting indeed. <laughs> right. The next time I film this, you should see the start of the fabrication. At least that all there on the gearbox tunnel. So wish me luck. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to keep track of everything that's going on. Bye bye.